Hey guys, so a lot of you have been asking for pumpkin recipes and I am happy to oblige because I love all things pumpkin. Today I'm gonna to share with you a really simple but totally delicious recipe for pumpkin waffles. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. So let's go through our ingredients. You'll need flour, brown sugar, baking soda, baking powder, cinnamon and nutmeg, milk, eggs, melted coconut oil, maple syrup, and pumpkin puree. The first step is to mix all of our dry ingredients. So to my flour, I'm gonna add some brown sugar, and I'm just using a little bit because later on we're gonna add some maple syrup, but it does add a nice hint of sweetness. And then I've got baking powder, baking soda salt, and my spices. And today what I'm doing is I'm using a little bit of cinnamon and some nutmeg, but you guys can use cloves or allspice, whatever you have on hand. And once it's all in there, I'm gonna give it a nice little whisk, and that's gonna break up all the clumps in the brown sugar. Next we need to mix all of our wet ingredients and I'm going to do that in a giant bowl because soon I'm going to add all of my dry ingredients in there. So I've got three eggs which I'll add to my bowl and then I have some refined coconut oil and if you guys remember that has no hint of a taste of coconut but you can sub it out with some butter or some vegetable oil, whatever fat you prefer. And next I'm going to add my maple syrup which is another great fall flavor. Then I have pumpkin puree and this is not pie filling, it's actual pumpkin but from a can. And finally I have milk and I'm using 2% because I have some of that in my refrigerator but this recipe really isn't fussy so you can add almond milk or whatever you have. And now a thorough whisk to combine everything. Once I've whisked my wet ingredients I'm going to add my dry ingredients a little bit at a time. I should also mention that when I make waffles I'm usually not that particular about the order that I mix the ingredients in because the kids are usually helping me and have their own opinions about what comes first and last. My batter is all ready and I preheated a standard waffle iron until it's nice and hot. I've also buttered it because these guys do tend to stick. So I'm going to take about a half a cup measure and pour my batter right in. Okay, so my waffle is just about done. I'm going to grab it with my bare fingers because I'm feeling pretty brave today. Now, if I weren't serving these right away, I would stick them in a 200 degree oven to keep warm on a baking sheet, but these also freeze really well, so I love making a big batch of them and sticking them in the freezer. That way, during the week, my kids have something homemade to eat. So there you have it. That's all there is to making these really delicious pumpkin waffles. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more pumpkin recipes, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!